What is up, guys? This is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new prototype watch that I have in. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Super Ellipse Chrono from Jubilee and Watches. Now, if you're not familiar with Jubilee and Watches, they're located in Singapore, and uh, they tend to focus on really, really small runs of high, high quality watches. And this watch is no different. This Super Ellipse Chrono. Guys, before we jump into this watch, of course, the watch of the day is that Hell Grey Bomber that uh, I got on a Kickstarter campaign not too long ago. That's the Hell Grey Bomber. But guys, let's jump into this Super Ellipse Chrono from Jubilee and Watches. All right, guys, as we zoom in on this Super Ellipse Chrono from Jubilee and Watches, very first thing I noticed right out of the gate is that case material. Now, in talking with the company, they're telling me that that is a aged rose gold. Right out of the gate, to me, it looks like bronze with a bunch of patina on it. Guys, you know I'm not a fan of rose gold. But this is by far one of the coolest looking rose gold cases I have seen. That, that kind of aged look to it. Um, I refer to it as like a beaten bronze. I mean, it, it's just a really, really cool color, um, especially once you get it up close. The other thing you'll notice, and I'll get some pictures at the end of the video, is this guy is on a blue jean leather strap. You guys have seen, if you've seen my videos in the past, you knew I have a strap made out of carpet. This would be my first blue jean strap, so I think that is pretty neat. And it adds kind of a really neat texture to that aged rose gold case. If we take a little bit closer look, you'll also see that there's a sunburst in that blue dial, that blue dial on that chronograph. Really, really deep blue sunburst. Loving, loving, loving the color combinations on this. Also, with that white internal bezel, guys, I will go through some of the functions of this watch here in a little bit, but white internal bezel, that is a rotating internal bezel on this guy. One thing you'll notice is it doesn't have a second hand on that second sub-dial at the 9 o'clock position. In this specific model, Jubilee and Watches opted to go with a spinning disc with a knockout to identify where the watch is from a second standpoint. Now, I will get some close-up pictures of that spinning disc or that spinning dial on that subdial uh, towards the end if you want to see that guy close up. But really, really interesting design. Um, I personally have never seen that done before on a chronograph, so I thought that was just a really, really neat concept. Now, guys, I did mention this was a chronograph. This is an automatic chronograph running the Swiss ETA caliber 7750 Valjoux movement. Now, if you guys are not familiar with that ETA 7750, that is a long-time winner as it relates to chronograph automatic movements. This movement and its its design has been out since, I, the design has been out like since older than I am. It's been out since the 70s. Um, and it's just a workhorse movement. And I think if you take a look around, I believe it is one of the most popular automatic chronograph movements, simply thanks to the sheer amount of years that this movement has been in production, as well as the number of watches that this movement has been used in. But this guy is a workhorse, time trusted and true. As I mentioned, it is an automatic movement. It's got 25 joules in runs at roughly 28,800 beats per second. The Swiss ETA caliber 7750 movement also has a 42 hour power reserve. So in building out this watch, Jubilee and Watches didn't spare any expenses when it came to the movement they put in this guy. I think from what I've seen, and you guys can blast me in the comments below if you want, but what I have seen in these watches is that that Swiss ETA Valjoux 7750 is one of the by far favorite chronograph automatic movements uh, in my book anyway. Uh, I have a couple of watches other than this one that run that same movement. I have a Blova 
Kirkwood, as well as a Laco Las Vegas that both run that same 7750 automatic movement. And, and guys, chronographs go hands down one of the best. If you look at the complications on this, you have the second subdial, you have a minute subdial, and then you've got that second hand that works in the chronograph function along with a date and day display right there at that three o'clock position. Now, the pushers that you see on the side of the watch, that is for operating that chronograph movement. But you guys notice there's an extra dial, or I'm sorry, an extra crown on this watch on the opposite side. That crown is for operating the internal bezel, and I'll get some video uh, towards the end of this showing you that internal bezel and how that operates. If we want to talk about the size of this Super Lips Chrono, this guy is rocking out at 42 millimeters in diameter. Now, I've talked many, many times in the past about the sweet spot for me being in roughly that 42 to 45 millimeter range uh, on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Much larger than that, and it makes me look like I have olive oil wrists. Much smaller than that, it makes me look like I have Popeye wrists. So that's kind of the sweet spot for me. Now, from lug to lug, this guy is 51 millimeters, and crown to crown is 49 millimeters. Now, I did mention that these are screw-down crowns, and thanks to those screw-down crowns, this guy has a 10 ATM water resistance. I'll pick this guy up and show you the case back here in just a second, but both the main crystal as well as the case back are sapphire glass with AR coating. Now, this guy does come, when it's in production, will come in a couple of different types of cases. All of them are stainless steel, 316L stainless steel, and they come with either an IP vintage gunmetal or IP vintage rose gold. This is the IP Vintage Rose Gold. Now, I have seen um, Shane over at the Watch of Facebook group. He has an IP Vintage gunmetal that is absolutely gorgeous. If you guys have not checked out that Facebook group, it's called Watch It. Just go up to Facebook and search W-A-T-C-H-A. Great, great Facebook group to be in. There is a lot of microbrand owners that participate in that group. Just a great group of guys. Incidentally, sorry, I know I got sidetracked, but he has that IP Vintage gunmetal. And guys, when I do the pre-order on this, I am definitely jumping in on the gunmetal. The gunmetal is absolutely gorgeous. The dial colors that you can get with this is white on blue, blue on white, or faded gray. Now, I'm going to see before I post up this video if I can get some pictures of the different color combinations and see if I can assemble them at the end of this video for you. And if I can, they'll be there. If I didn't have time to get them, they won't be there. But um, if you guys want to see this watch, jubilean.com. Jubilean.com is where your guys will be able to find this. Now, talking about that dial design, one of the things that I love about, uh, about watches, everybody loves it. Everybody goes crazy over Loom. Everybody wants to see these things glow in the dark. Well, this guy is not going to disappoint. This guy is running that Super Luminova, that BGW9 loom on both the hands and the subdial hands. Now, one thing to point out, guys, this is on the blue jean leather strap, but it also does come with a, another leather strap. I It's a, it's a calfskin uh, says Jubilean right on the back of it. Nice, nice little watch. I did hear that they were going to do some different imprinting on the back of these straps to get that embossing a little bit tighter in the production model, make it look a little bit cleaner. Uh, but this is the other side of the strap. I might change out these straps and hopefully I don't, uh, scratch this watch at all because it is on loaner to me, but I might change out these straps and just see what it looks like on that brown calfskin leather strap. Now, one thing about these watches, one of the things that uh, I was starting to tell you about, these guys, this guy is just a prototype. This is just a prototype. This is not a production model of this Super Ellipse Chrono from Jubilee. And so there's a few things that they learned with this prototype that they're going to be changing uh, in the production model. I mean, different things like there's a, a numeral font. 
um, on that internal rotating bezel. They want to change the font a little bit so it looks a little bit cleaner. If you take a look at that um, one uh, right there on that internal bezel, it looks a little jacked up. Um, but they're going to be changing that to a cleaner looking font, something that, uh, that fits a lot better with the styling. Uh, the leather strap, as I mentioned, they're going to improve the stamping for a deeper and clearer brand on the back of the leather straps that they supply. As far as the buckle logos, one thing that I forgot to mention, and I forgot to point out, and if I see if I can get it in focus there, very, very faintly on this buckle, you can see the SG for the Jubilee in Singapore watch company. They're going to be engraving that a little bit deeper on the production models so that uh, it gives it a much, much cleaner look. And the other thing that they're going to be doing, and we'll take it off this pillow here so I can show you guys the case back. Now, incidentally, one thing to point out that I thought was really cool is when these guys go into production, they're only going to be doing a run of 50 case and color styles per color combination. There's only going to be 50 of these watches available. But if we flip this, this guy over, you see the open display case back for that Swiss ETA 7750 chronograph movement. One of the things they're going to be doing in the production model is opening up this display case a little bit, opening up this rear display with that sapphire crest a little bit so you can see more of that automatic movement, which I think, um, in my estimation, will give it a little bit better of a look. Um, let you take a look at that gorgeous automatic movement in the back of this watch. Now, again, that is a sapphire glass. A lot of companies will cheap out on the display backs because, let's face it, they're face down to your wrist. Um, they'll throw a mineral crystal in there instead of sapphire glass. Guys, this one has the sapphire glass and the AR coating right there in the crystal on the case back. The other thing you'll notice is right down there at the bottom of the watch, you notice limited edition 0050. This as I mentioned, this is a prototype. That's why this guy does not have a serial number. Um, but if you pre-order or purchase one of these watches, it will be limited edition run of 50 in that color combination. So you will have one through 50 of 50, and that's it. Kind of cool concept to have a watch that uh, only 50 other people in the world actually have. The other thing you'll notice, it says Super Lips Chrono right there at that top of that case. Finally, the last thing that they'll be doing in the production model is they do have their logo right there on the crowns, um, but they missed a letter during the production of this prototype in the crown. Usually their, their logo is an SG, um, and uh, they missed that. It looks like they missed that SG right in the middle of that crown, so they're going to fix that up a little bit. But as I mentioned, let's take a look at the operation of this this crown. All screw out crowns operates just like a normal crown. I unscrewed it to unlock it. You guys can see that internal bezel moving right within that dial casing. Screw that guy back down and you are good to go. On the other side, we have the pushers to operate the chronograph movement. You can see the chronograph firing off right there. I have some time elapse video that'll go at the end of this video if you guys want to stick around showing the chronograph movement and all its functionality. And snap right back there just like we like to see in an automatic chronograph. Anyway, guys, I am going to get out of your hair. Just wanted to bring you this Super Ellipse Chronograph from Jubilee and Watches located in Singapore. Guys, if you have any questions about this watch whatsoever, post them up in the comments section below and I will reach out to the uh, creator and see if I can get you guys the answers. Also, don't forget to check out the Facebook group Watcha. Uh, log on to Facebook. Just run a search for Watcha. W a-T-C-H-A. -A. Guys, check that group out. You will see me popping around there, um, commenting, dropping Watch of the Day picks here and there. Um, definitely a great, great group to uh, join and find out about some of these new watches coming out. But guys, I'm out of here. I'm done for the day. I hope you guys have a great one. 
if you guys want to see this watch on my wrist or my actual watch of this once the pre-sale is over, definitely follow us on Instagram at Instagram slash watchaddiction.us. Thank you guys very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, post off a comment in the section below, and have a great one.